gonna see if this old four-wheeler fire up today. I did some very shady uh, top end work to it and ground my own valves on a on just a uh, bench top grinder. So I cobbled all this crap together. Now let's see if this thing's gonna run. So she's got good compression. The cam gear should have been put on after. Uh, the chain was right. It's okay to have the chain on, have it go up through the head. But the cam gear has to go on after. And I just set the valve so that it would be on the compression stroke. And uh, down here I set inside that hole. There's a little mark and a T. And that is top dead center, which I checked before I assembled it. And that's how I lined up the, uh, the timing chain. Valve adjustment, very simple. It's our, everything's already lined up just like I showed you, so uh, you can adjust the valves just like that. It's a single cylinder, you don't have to turn it, anything. Just loosen the jam nut up, and then there's a, uh, uh, you can uh, screw it in or out with this, uh, this right here. Put your uh, feeler gauge under there, and in this case it's, it's seven thousandths for the exhaust side of this. And that's how you want it. I'll do the same on the other side. Uh, the specs are different for intake. Intake is never going to open as much as exhaust because so it'll be five thousandths on the other side. These parts ended up being uh, the uh, chain tensioner. So the way this works, you set the spring in there of course and then you see that lip right there guys? The uh, you can see it's got a step on it. So the way it works, you put the spring on here, put this on, put it all the way as far as you can get it, put this on, and then you tighten this nut up on that step. You put the uh, tensioner inside the uh, engine, loosen up that uh, bolt, and it'll spring loose, and it'll only be able to go out. And then you can tighten this nut back up so you don't, or the bolt back up so you don't lose it. New O-ring installed. Now all you have to do is loosen this up. You might be able to hear it. Listen closely. And the chain just jumped over here if you noticed. Now that it is like that, you can tighten this back down so you don't lose this uh, bolt. So I dip that in oil. The new O-ring. Slipper on there. And slam this cover on there. And same with the top covers. I put a little oil on them and new o-ring and that's all it takes. See if we can get this engine in there. There was a time I would have took that engine off of that counter, picked it up over my shoulders, and thrown it down here on the ground. But now I'm almost as old as Frank, and I don't want to pay the price. You know, it hurt my back.
just to avoid future problems with the wiring, we should probably clean them out with some electrical cleaner. You know, the connectors and terminals. So now it's all dried off. I'll put a little of this uh, diet electric grease on there. So time to run in the store real quick. I got to get some gasoline and I'll get that key for the pull start and uh, be right back. All right, I'm back guys. Isn't that cool? Uh, I learned that off of, uh, you know, the hand thing. See that? I'm gone. I'm back. Okay, I learned that off of cars and cameras. I stole it from Bud. You know, Isaac and Bud on cars and camera, they play with uh, go-karts and he does that. Bud does that. Hey, I'm going to the store. Hey, I'm back. Pretty cool. Anyways, uh... I'm going to clean the carburetor up now and uh, let the oil drain in this machine while I'm doing that. This is the first time I've seen the inside of this carburetor and the first time you'll have seen the inside. And, whoop -ah. Oh, wow. That thing is so nice and clean. I don't know that I'll do anything with it. I can tell you this. I don't believe I have ever ever and I'm being serious uh, bought a machine and uh, with a carburetor this clean on it that's the choke that's the choke cable right there and the carburetor I don't have a clamp that size so I'm just gonna use this zip tie it'll be fine you guys you guys catch that one I said it'll be fine these two pieces it's just as simple as this they go right there that makes this deal a whole bunch longer and it'll compress this ring and it'll all fit in there right. So before I tighten that up guys, there's uh, these two back here. Uh, I'm just going to put, there's on both sides of that, I'm just going to put a bolt in there and leave it loose and then I'll tighten those two first front nuts and then we'll put the uh, muffler on. A very wise man, actually a living legend in this part of the country, uh, once said, when it comes to brands of oil, weights, thickness, and all that, he said, some oil is better than no oil. And uh, he's correct. I can't give his name away, but I can't give him, I can't give his initials away. And he goes by, his initials are HB. The big H. Very wise man. And one of my good friends. Alright, I got the pull rope uh, installed, guys. You know, I didn't film it. I wanted to get this thing running tonight. And over here, all I did was hook up the battery. Uh, battery charger. And now, what we're going to do, guys, is see if it's got spark and compression. See if it'll turn over and all that. Here we go, guys! The big moment! She's got spark. And I believe she's got compression.
Well, the moment we've all been waiting for. Will this cobbled up junk run? Let's find out. We've got an issue, boys. Bad. Check it out. We got a little oil leak. We need to figure out what's going on there. Not looking good. This side cover is all loose. All the bolts are loose. I just tighten them up for now. We'll have to take that, probably take that off and put a new uh, seal around it. But let's just see if we can. Let's just see if it'll run smooth. Start it up again and see what she does. Uh, that's it for today. I, I believe we got it out of time. When I say we, I mean me, of course. And uh, I'll go back. I'm going to have to do a little research on the timing and see what the deal is. And uh, we'll get it timed and, and running right. I'm sure it does not lack compression because that thing, it's hard to even turn over when you go to start it. So that's another indicator. Maybe it's out of time a little bit. I'll research it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, so that you can see the next uh, part of this video. We'll get it running good. And uh, we'll see All you right, next boys. time. I couldn't help myself. I had to look into it a little bit more. I uh, I second guessed everything I did. I, I I was thinking maybe the valves aren't done right. Uh, maybe my timing's off. I actually went back and checked my timing real quick. Quick took the covers off and checked that out. And uh, wasn't really making sense to me, guys. Then I realized I had the battery charger hooked up directly to this four wheeler to start it and run it. Well, I got to thinking that could screw with the voltage. You know, the, the voltage maybe is not correct on this machine. And it could affect the way it's firing because it was backfiring, so I knew it had some kind of problem with the ignition. And uh, went ahead and hooked the car battery up to it and some jumper cables. And boys, see what happened. So there's my car battery, and it's hooked up right there to the machine, as you can see. Check her out, boys. Let's see what she does. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.